Let's say you don't have access to a calendar and you do not know what day of the week it is. However, you do know what the date is. Well, I have a very complex mathematical formula for you to use to find out what day of the week it is. And I'm going to put it up here on the screen and before you pause the video and just give up on this math minute, just give it a chance and see how easy this can be by just knowing a couple pieces of information. To start off with, each of the variables, the letters, stand for something. So S is equal to sum, M is the month, D is the day, and Y is the year. There are a couple of exceptions that you need to understand, and that relates to the month. Normally, January is 1, February is 2, March is 3, April is 4, etc. But if your date is a January or February date, do not use 1 and 2, but rather 13 and 14. Another exception also relates to January and February dates. For example, today's date is January 10th, 2017. Because it's a January date, we won't use 2017 for the year. We would use 2016. Finally, when you find the sum, you're going to take off any decimal places and then divide the whole number by 7. If the remainder to that problem is 0, then the day is a Saturday. If the remainder is 1, it's a Sunday. Remainder 2 is a Monday, and so forth. So we're going to use this complex algebraic formula to find the day of the week that I was born. So here's the formula. And here is the date that I was born, May 16th, 1975. May is the fifth month, so M is equal to 5. D is 16, and the year is 1975. So wherever I see those variables in the formula, I'm going to substitute in the numbers. So notice the D became 16 the M became 5, and I put that in parentheses because I need to multiply 2 times M or 2 times 5. And then I put in a 5 where I saw the M in the next piece. And then all the places I see a Y in the formula, I put in or I substituted in 1975. And from here, we have a bunch of smaller math problems that we can start to chip away at to find our sum. I'm going to start with 2 times 5, which is 10. And then 10 and 16 can be combined, added together to make 26. The next math problem that I chose to answer was 1975 divided by 100. Because when you multiply and divide by 100, there's a really simple trick that works, um, and there's a reason why it works, but you're just going to move the decimal place to the left or to the right. In this case, since I'm dividing, I'm going to move the decimal to the left two places, making 1975 divided by 100, 19.75. Go ahead and check it on your calculator. The next problem I did was 5 plus 1, which is 6, and then I took 6 times 3 to get 18. Then I took 18 divided by 5 to get 3.6. You can either do that mentally or use a calculator. The next thing I did was to take 1975 divided by 4, and I got 493.75. And lastly, I did 1975 divided by 400 and got 4.9375. The last step is to take all of those numbers and add them up. And I got 2,485.5375. Now the directions said to ignore the decimal places, so I will take care of those by crossing them out. And then I'm going to take 2,485 divided by 7. And when I do that, I get 355 remainder 0. And a remainder of 0 means that the day was a Saturday. So on May 16, 1975, I was born and it was on a Saturday.